Hello everyone, welcome to Divine and Wild Tarot. In today's Pick a Card reading, we're gonna go over who you are meant to be with in this lifetime. So this is a romance and love related reading. If this is your very first time in this channel, I warmly welcome you to this community. I am an energy reader and this channel is all about tarot readings, channel messages, and connecting with the divine. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. If this is your first time in specifically a pick a card style video, style reading, then all you have to do is pick a number between one, two, three, and four, and go down to the description box below. You'll find your number and then click on the timestamp and that's where your reading will start today. All this art that you see in the studio that I'm currently in are all of my own painting. If you want to see them close up, you'll find the link in the description box below to my online digital art gallery. And without further ado, let's start with group number one. All right, hello group number one. Welcome to your reading. How are we all doing today? Thank you so much for tuning in to this reading and supporting this channel by simply checking this out. So. Immediately I see you guys being quite powerfully and divinely in a union ship. Okay. Someone that is absolutely, I feel like you will be in your power and they will be in their power. So in this lifetime, you're meant to be with someone that is completely super independent but also i feel like both of you guys are independent that's why you're attracting this kind of a person is because both of you guys have that independent streak to you as well so both of you are truth seekers both of you are able to bring to the table your authentic selves and i feel like your person might be a leo or someone that's just mm, for others of you it's a taurus but Regardless of the zodiac sign, I do see that you both are quite independent and quite powerful and that both of you will get what you want. So it's not a one-sided thing like as if, you know, your partner might be compromising his or her whole life to be with you. It's not a codependent type of relationship. It truly is an equal partnership and some people take um equal partnership a little strange and sometimes I do too. So it's it, it's it's the super independent personalities coming together into a really strong unionship. Fulfillment of wishes. This is one of the most positive cards to get in the in this specific oracle deck. And so it really tells me and even the energy I'm picking up on both of you guys together is that he or she, your partner, will get what he or she wants and you will also be able to make it work where you also get everything you absolutely want. So the biggest advice if you guys are still single or if you guys are in a situation that doesn't feel or look like this, then you know you want to make sure that your boundaries are set in the right place and also never cut yourself short. It's this is a meant to be in this lifetime for you guys. You guys are destined to have this type of relationship as long as you are standing your ground and remember that you don't need to compromise too much in your relationship because I do see a divine union ship that is quite a match to you guys where both of you guys have similar outlook on life and similar independency where you guys are both come together as two whole beings to become a really powerful couple, okay? So, and I see you guys liking, enjoying time staring at the stars together and bonding together as well and you guys will have this really beautiful partnership where when you guys are alone you're able to just enjoy each other's company so deeply and so intimately so it's like i see you guys just laying down and just talking about life or just enjoying each other's energy and laying on the grass and looking at the stars just sort of that really intimate at ease type of relationship it does feel very calm Sometimes I feel like with relationships when you guys when when it's a situation where you feel anxious or feel 
way too excited or way too nervous to see someone, then it's not your divine partnership or maybe it's just not yet your divine partnership because it's not supposed to feel anything but calm and ease. When the right person comes to your life, think of your best friend. Think of the friends that you are super close with or have been close with. Uh, people that you're super comfortable with that are totally in your life no doubt no question and when you're around them you're calm you're you're yourself and so with your partner it needs to be that same level of calmness same level of comfort same level of you know shared that clear communication as well and having a safe space where you're able to express things together i see that when you guys either of you that might come into a situation that is causing you any grief because when I look at this uh, imagery here I see that you both of you will be the light in each other's life so whenever someone's going through something not so good then you will be that person that's able to be your partner's backbone and vice versa he, he or she will be able to be your backbone in a situation as well so it's a really really beautiful partnership you guys are destined for because you guys absolutely deserve this and you guys have it in the stars in your stars and i believe that everyone i mean especially in your energy in this specific reading for you guys group number one that um, interesting soul solitude your soul needs attention so for you to move forward back sorry move forward into the direction of meeting this person or having this divine partnership it's to be connected with yourself absolutely because for this relationship to happen you need to be complete and whole on your own first and so does your partner so when this happens then you two will be ready for each other whether you're already in a relationship or not there is a level of the more whole you are as a person the healthier the re relationship will be <clears throat> there are moments when it's important to get away not just from the noise of the outside world but to find a place where your soul can experience peace and quiet a place for soul solitude this is a time to pause a time to reflect a time for you so truly i mean we also got the truth card and i mentioned for a second about how both of you are able to be in tune with the truth at all times it's because it's that both of you are able to get in tune with your own truth individually and then you guys come together as a whole union ship that has you know its truth in that as well if that made any sense all right group number one i see your partner being so supportive and so helpful in your career as well you both will be such a complete backbone for each other when it comes to emotional support and you you will definitely feel safe emotionally with this person and both of you will feel that equal safety sort of unionship which is such a beautiful <laughs> partnership here it is so um feels just so whole and complete so this is really exciting and great to look forward to if you guys are already in a relationship and it doesn't feel exactly like i'm explaining it the one thing that will help improve the situation and what you're destined for what your life journey is looking like is to get more in touch with yourself more self-love more self-awareness more self-reflection more journaling more discovering the self and knowing that you create happiness within yourself and nothing external will ever replace that internal um internal compass take action so let me put it here yeah i feel like both of you have this knack for making things happen i feel like both of you guys will have a level of, of success within your businesses and within whatever you guys have chosen to do in your career i do see that both of you are able to set goals and make it happen and that you you both are highly powerful individually in the career that you guys have chosen 
All right, so. Oh, that's nice. You guys literally have the heart chakra. You guys are, I just, when I look at the two views energy, I see that connection in the heart space so strong. On actually all levels, there's connection on all levels of the chakra system, but especially the heart. You guys truly will feel that love for each other and that care for each other and that intimacy for each other on an emotional level. So that's something really to look forward to. And if you guys already have this partner, that's amazing. And you guys just have this ability to understand what's going on politically also and on so many levels of whatever every dimension you guys know the truth so let's see what's going on here Oh, that's nice. When you guys are in your flow and in your passion and doing your own thing, I just see your partner just having googly eyes and just staring at you and just mesmerized by the way you dance and the way you move and the way you execute things. He or she is just going to absolutely adore you to bits. There is that absolute admiration for you and admiration for your passion and admiration for your love for life so the more you ignite your passion for life and for the things that you do the more your person will be drawn to you so this this dynamic and this partnership truly is about practicing and harnessing self-love both of you and so when two people are absolutely on fire that's when the fire will come together and be just this bigger fire I feel like for some of you in group number one needs to be reminded uh, because to change your focus because you're thinking of it in a reversed way where you're thinking, okay, how can I love my partner more? How can I be a better wife or a better partner or a better whatever? But actually it's the other way around. How can you love yourself better? How can you be a better person? How can you be more aligned to your purpose? It's more about you first and then the partnership second and then everything will just come together in a very natural aligned way You guys are meant to be with someone that is able to understand that you are, like this person totally understands that you are an individual person with many ideas. So there's gonna be a lot of respect as well happening there. You guys are gonna be admiring each other and finding inspiration and finding emotional support from each other quite naturally. But at the same time, I do see you both being quite independent by nature so ooh, romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring so so when you do start feeling feelings for a type of a person then it's definitely worth exploring and i mean there's a lot of the heart chakra energy is truly strong there is a massive bond there what's keep what keeps you guys together is how much you care for each other how much you support each other and how much you admire each other so there is going to be a level of, I feel like at the beginning, especially right now, if you guys are single, it's going to be all about you and how you how fiercely independent you are. But when I feel, I feel like five years into the relationship, even for some of you guys, five months into the relationship, you're going to start feeling codependent to the person because of that strong heart energy, not because you guys need each other. It's because you guys want each other. So that's a really healthy way of approaching the relationship but also it's a great reminder for group number one i feel like some of you guys can fall into toxic codependency so make sure that you are you're able to function without this person as well i want to say and to make sure that your support system if you can 
I know it's going to be hard to imagine this because you guys are such a divine in such a divine partnership, but always ask yourself if you're able to live life and live without this person like when when this person is not in the picture do you have your emotional support system do you have the right friends do you have the right co-workers do you have the right team did you did you um is your relationship with your mom and dad in a good place you want to ask yourself you know outside of the relationship how is your your life going so it's really important to it's a reminder for you guys group number one because you guys can truly be lost in the relationship which is beautiful and you guys are actually meant for that but it's an important reminder to make sure that your life is also in place because you guys found each other as two individuals coming together and it's when you lose each other within the relationship that can get a little sticky but i do see for most of you guys in group number one you guys would just be fine and that you guys will naturally be uh, independent by nature as well but at the same time it's completely in love and you will truly find the right person that will be the exact right fit for you in this lifetime so that's your reading group number one i hope you found that enjoyable and helpful and insightful and if you did consider giving it a giant thumbs up remember to check out my etsy shop in the link below and i'll see you in another video bye for now Hello group number two, welcome to your reading. Thank you so much for tuning in to this channel and supporting this channel out by simply being here. How are we all doing? Let's find out who you are meant to be with in this lifetime. Crown games. Ooh. Hmm. That's interesting. All right, immediately we have cards flying out all over the place already. Okay. I feel like one of you guys are gonna be quite cutthroat. One of you guys have almost this need to be overpowering someone and it's gonna feel right. I know this, this but the first impression actually feels quite toxic, if I were to be honest. So, all right, let's figure this out. Group number two, who are you meant to be in this lifetime? Someone that is, dare I say it, more powerful than you. Not, not to say that everyone, I mean, yes, we're all born equal and we're all born with the same capabilities, but in terms of, sorry, someone that's a little bit more dominant is what I'm trying to say. They're, you're going to be with someone that likes to lead the ship and likes to be a little bit more on the dominant side of things. So it depends if you like that or not. Almost like a Gemini feeling. I, I feel there's some Gemini vibes going on as well. It's a very interesting energy. I just need to tune in a little bit more. Spirit. Who is group number two meant to be with in their lifetime? Someone that's really flirty, someone that is really good at talking, really good at uh, saying sweet things, very flirty, and has a very high level of confidence. Someone that truly can lead the way, someone that is able to adapt to social situations, almost like a social chameleon. So your person has this ability to assert his or her power into social situations and including the relationship as well. So they, and I feel like some of you, a lot of you guys group number two won't mind it because I mean, in some particular relationships, you can find yourself I mean, some people like to take the back seat or they don't mind giving someone else the spotlight I'm the same way I don't mind giving someone else a spotlight when it's appropriate and you know it's not coming from a narcissistic level or you know it's just it has to make sense right okay so I feel like this is a healthy balance between you guys and your partner this relationship energy is just very different from what I personally have experienced so it's taking me a little bit longer to completely tune into this type of dynamic. Yeah, I see your partner is 
just very sure of what he wants just this really strong confident energy and very mm, yeah sure of what he wants and but also he's fair he he looks at the whole situation he has the whole picture kind of he's almost like the eagle that flies over the situation and knows what to do knows where to go and also knows what he wants as well or she could be a more dominant female that we're talking about here but this person definitely has a good knack for being in social environments and also quite flirty. This person will come off very flirty in the beginning, definitely. When you first meet him or her, you'll notice that she or he is going to be quite a big flirt. Hmm. It's a very powerful card, that crown games. Hmm. So because that person, this person we're speaking of that I'm tuning into has ways to use his or her power, it's almost like they need to be careful with how they use their power. And also, I mean, I feel like when you guys start hanging out with this person or get to know this person, you're gonna be almost taken aback by how assertive this person is because it's like you, um, hmm. gateway and transformation. Spirit, I need more direction here, okay, so. Hmm. Yeah, your partner that you're meant to be with in this lifetime is just really good at planting seeds and making things happen makes sense because they're really good at talking they're really witty they're social chameleons so they do well in social environments and they're also really powerful and their head's strong and their heart's strong and they are they're going to pursue you they are the type that will be flirty with you and they're going to pursue you and they are interested in galloping into the sunset with you it's it's that level of so they are going to be initiating quite a few things when it comes to you too but regardless of everything that I have said, um, complete harmony. Like I said, it's, it's, it's an interesting dynamic. I feel like although there's a lot of dominant energy and power, powerful um, dynamics happening in your partner, I do see it being, being quite compatible as well, like you don't mind it. And uh, for group number two, I feel like some of you guys have softer energies, whether you realize it or not, you guys have that um, compassion and that, um, yeah, that you don't have the need to take the spotlight all the time and you understand, you're, you're, under, you're very understanding of your partner. You guys have a really, um, you guys have really good cards here. So I feel like some of you guys recently have, I feel like you guys are going to connect with each other. Um, it's like you guys will heal each other's past. I do see a lot, um, that happening as well. So when you guys connect with each other really beautifully, by the way, you guys have this really divine connection that will just link up. It'll just feel like it's almost like a vacuum effect. Once you guys meet and see each other and hang out and get to know each other, it's just just this this is vacuum effect of like now you guys now you guys are together now you guys are connected now now it's happening and what really brings you guys together strongly and powerfully at the same time as well is that one one of you or maybe both of you have gone through some sort of emotional loss and emotional trauma and some sort of struggle emotional just some difficulty that you guys have brought together brought you two together and in this uni unionship with your partner, you guys will be able to heal the past together and it's gonna be a beautiful moment because you guys are able to, well, your person is so assertive that he or she is gonna want to just scoop you up and bring you into their arms and just hug you and love you and help you work through your traumas and so, that is really going to connect you to a lot is through the difficulties that you guys have already gone through and you're able to express everything and heal all the traumas and just be able to let let it all out and you guys are gonna have this bond that is 
really special between you guys. Be kind to yourself. So the pink opal card. So yeah, really gentle energy. I do see and feel. Great remember to you guys do have that gentle energy. And um, besides all the surface sort of power that I have picked up earlier in this reading, I feel like there's a soft side in your partner where you're really going to be able to tap into and he or she, your partner that you're meant to be in this lifetime with is that they rarely open up on such a deep level and they have this really mushy gushy side to them that they don't share with many people and they are going to share it with you. So I do see that internal love that is really soft, gentle, kind, and nurturing that's happening for both of you guys. And it's just, just going to come together on a deep level. On the surface, your person is going to come off quite dominant, but actually you'll learn that inside they're really mushy and gushy and emotional and have that ability and depth to connect with you on a deeper level and to be able to connect with you. Um, on a soul deep level. All right, so group number two, who were you meant to be with? Hmm. They're really good at making business deals happen. I'm getting that energy as well. The hero and the heroine. What's this about? Hmm. Yeah, so your, your partner is gonna always be seeking to better himself or better herself you know you know there's like when you have a friend or an individual that can it's continuously always working on themselves they're always buying or uh, looking into self-help books and learning new things your partner is going to be that type of person where they have this passion for learning and passion for bettering themselves which is really great it's it's a ongoing journey that they understand of evolution and improving on the self and so your person truly has that attribute and because they're working on themselves all the time it brings in that level of depth to the relationship as well and you my dear are a mystic I feel like you guys have, oh, that's such a beautiful union ship. So this is you, or this is you, the mystic, the purple energy, and your partner is the hero energy. So so a lot of you guys in group number two, I feel like is naturally very drawn to energy related things. And you guys have that ability to tap in with the source energy whereas your partner is more out there in this 3d dimension and making things happen so you guys have that soft kind of underneath subconscious under the ocean type energy that's happening all underneath and almost that introverted energy and then your partner's more of that extroverted energy that's making things happen that's making business deals and connecting with people and yeah, I feel like you guys have that hermit energy for sure. Not all of you, but for a lot of you guys, group number two, you have that internal thing going on where you like to spend time with yourself and seek answers within yourself. And you have that soft, kind nature. And then whereas your partner is really out there. Um, but at the same time, when they're with you, they really understand you and they have this... Um, yeah, wittiness to them that's able to connect with the outside world in a really graceful way. And so do you. You guys are almost like a yin and yang. You guys are like this butterfly here that he is the blue and you are the yellow. He or she is the blue and you are the yellow, your partner. You guys are just going to come together and it's going to blossom and you guys are just going to be very equally balanced in the partnership. So group number two. Hmm. for your partner he or she is going to feel like he's jumping and going into a leap of faith with you because it's a, you're, you guys are it's a totally different partnership than you guys have ever experienced before it's very unique because maybe your partner is interested in this 
type of person, this type of character, this type of like cookie cutter way of how they see what their partner should be like, but then you're this whole other magical being that they've never imagined existed. And so then they, but they feel it, they, they trust it and they like it and they have a crush on you, they love you, they like you, they're interested, they're curious. And so they, at the beginning, they're gonna have, they're gonna take a leap of faith with you. That's how it's going to feel like for them. And there's going to be this equal give and take that's really healthy as well for you guys. Group number two. Group number two. Hmm. It's really important to, in this partnership, that I feel like work will be also a forefront because your person is quite career focused as well. There is that element in that. I mean, who isn't though? You know, like, finances and career is a part of life you can't escape it it's what makes the world go round so for some of you guys oh here for some of you guys i feel like you you haven't fully found this person yet and there's gonna be oh okay that's a big message so some of you guys might come across your partner or you think that you're gonna come across your partner and you think that this person is the one. Uh, for some of you guys that are dating or in your younger years, like early 20s or in your teens or even in your early 30s, it's important in any stage in life that you do listen to the red flags and you do pay attention to those internal intuitive nudges about any person that you're seeing. Because if they're not right for you, then they're not right for you. I feel like a lot of you guys in group number two have or will go into relationships where you think, oh, this is the one, I'm gonna dive right in, I'm gonna marry them, I'm gonna sh they're gonna meet their family, they're gonna meet my family, and then they're, and you feel like it's gonna be absolutely, completely, hey, this is my forever person, but actually you guys will come, you guys will go through a few relationships before your um, meeting the one for sure and it's important to pay attention to the red flags because I feel like some of you guys uh, will be going into relationships that isn't this person but you guys are going to learn a lot from these different things and so the biggest advice coming through is really pay attention if a re if you spot a red flag it is a red flag there's no if ands or buts about it, okay? And make sure that your finances and career are in order as well. Don't compromise your financial health and your root chakra well-being for someone that's maybe not worth your time. I feel like there's gonna be a few obstacles uh, before you come across your destined soulmate, this person that you're meant to be with in this lifetime. So I hope that made sense for most of you guys in group number two. Just make sure to not ignore the red flags. If there's too many red flags to deal with and too many signs and obstacles that's in the way, then it's best to reconsider and to, you know, let go of the ones that are causing too much trouble because there's definitely going to be the one that is not going to have all these red flags in the way if that makes sense, okay? So that's your reading group number two. I hope you enjoyed it, found it insightful, and if you did, consider giving it a giant thumbs up. Remember to check out my Etsy shop in the link below, and I'll see you in another reading. Bye for now. Hello, group number three. Let's find out who you are meant to be within this lifetime. How are we all doing? Thank you so much for tuning into this channel. It means the world to me that you're here and supporting this channel by simply being here. Hmm. Your person is very adventurous, isn't he, or isn't she? You guys are going to travel a lot and bond a lot through traveling and seeing the world and seeing animals and going on cruises. I do see a lot of adventure coming for you guys as well. Hmm. Yeah, lots of action, lots of movement, lots of momentum, lots of just fun times. You guys are really going to bond over a lot of things. There's going to be a lot of activities happening, a lot of maybe uh, even small things. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's going to be connecting over, you know, doing stuff like cooking, even small things like reading a book together, playing chess together, 
cooking something together but for most of you guys in group number three it's about like traveling and and doing things together like skydiving like big things like going on road trips going on cruises going you know to asia going to europe going to australia just going to japan you guys have this big bucket list that you're gonna want to complete together so that's really cool you guys are quite the adventurous couple i see which is so exciting that's what you know union ships friendships partnerships anything ships it's supposed to be like that's just a good fun old time experiencing life together and collecting memories together it's gonna be a lot of that stuff happening and you know i feel like you guys are going to be able to really learn in, in terms of soul stuff happening with you guys i see that you guys will really learn to forgive everything that's ever happened in the past together and you guys will really be able to mature through the trials and tribulations of life together as well there's a sense of learning and growing i mean there's so much learning and growing between you two the energy that i feel is just this like churning of um just you guys are this like volcano but it's it's all positive it's all a good fun time but i do see the imagery is this you guys are just like tectonic place on earth just moving and creating volcanoes and just learning through and you know bonding together through the different moments of life you know just erupting and then loving each other and then supporting each other and being there for each other through all the different ebbs and flows of life yeah so i feel like whether you guys are gonna win or lose i feel like you guys will both be there look at this beautiful heart the, this card says win or lose then there's a sword and it's just you guys are just gonna take i see you guys both holding on to the handlebar together and taking the sword and just going at life together and there's what's keeping it together is the love that you have for each other this heart in the center there so that's a very fun dynamic you guys have going on a lot of giving and receiving because i mean when someone's going through something you're gonna want to be there for them and because you love them and that's your partner and that's your one so and when you're going through something he or she's going to be there for you as well but at the same time i mean you guys are going to be both going through very similar things because you guys are just experiencing life together so that's really fun daydreams and decisions so yeah again like you guys are going to com be completing the bucket list of life together so whether it's buying a house but uh or traveling i feel like i see a lot of travel for you guys just experiencing life in general together just really having fun there's going to be a lot of movement there's going to be completing things feeling productive together and you know daydreaming together and making decisions together you guys are have this really youthful energy between you two group number three i almost feel this almost like you guys are extroverted with each other but then when but actually you two are quite introverted individuals but then when you come together you have this extroverted nature to it because you guys just click and you guys just get each other and it's just a good time so if you guys haven't met this person already i feel like you're going to meet them very soon so that's very exciting so, uh let's see clearly decide what you want hmm. it's safe for you to love open your heart so open your heart more and maybe you'll attract this individual into your life sooner but i feel like everything has a divine timing to it regardless of whenever it happens okay yeah you guys have this super youthful energy you guys are just i see movement i see airplanes i see birds i see flowers i see you guys having this very youthful just um fun young nature to how you guys come together the energy that you guys create as a couple is very fun loving and you guys are able to make things happen and because both of you are so curious about life i see you guys um igniting these flames because you're both so curious about you know what life has to offer group number three and because you guys are going through so much in life you know becoming the force of nature together you guys are able to go through these spiritual awakenings and go through these spiritual um 
episodes in life together as well there's going to be this sense of deep connection on a spiritual level on a soul level but at the same time on a on a material level as well on an emotional level as well and you guys have um, all the depths covered Hmm. oh interesting <laughs> spirit has interesting ways of communicating with me don't i okay so i feel like your person is able to whenever you're stuck in a rut or whenever you feel like you're not progressing in life i feel like he or she will be able to cut the ropes that are tying you up there he, he or she is able to really come in and basically rescue you so there is this dynamic of saving saving you so or maybe some of you guys are already in this relationship i see there's this sense of um saving someone either you're saving them or they're saving you i mean at the end of the day only you can save yourself, I really want to say, but there is this almost heroic nature to how you two interact with each other as well. Okay, so clarity, please. Right, so I feel like some of you guys are going to go into maybe a partnership. Um, right before this divine union ship happens about all this travel this person that's going to experience life with you i do see you guys uh coming out of a rough situation first and then you're gonna go into this super brand new um experience where if you let this thing go it's like there's this needing to let go of something so that you can experience all of these amazing things that are to happen in your life. So I feel like there is this need to, on both sides actually for your partner that you're meant to be with in this lifetime and you. You both need to let go of something big, um, even, almost like a belief system and something internal, something that's really been holding you both back. For you guys it's almost an advice that's coming through for you guys group number three is that um letting go of something so that you guys can experience life in such a brand new fresh youthful way so before this can all happen it's really to let go of all of these things that may be dragging you guys down yeah all right so you're gonna have to build up the courage to make all this happen because some of you guys uh, can't even fathom traveling so much you guys can't even fathom having such an amazing time with someone you guys have gone through some traumas and maybe you guys have gone through some trials and tribulations in life that has jaded you a little bit and so the universe really wants to you know nudge you into the direction of being young again and having this faith and love for the universe again and for yourself again that you deserve this kind of a relationship that you guys can really grow together experience life together and have that companionship to uh, uh you know start collecting these memories these beautiful memories of life together so yeah, the pers this person is going to be the father of, of your children, but at the same time for some of you guys is to reconnect with your father more, to have that um, just heal your relationship with your family, especially your relationship with your dad. That will really make your, that will really transform your relationship with your partner in general. Having the strength to be brave and having the strength to welcome new experiences in life. Okay, so group number three. We have the within the next few weeks card. So however that resonates for you guys, within the next few weeks, you're going to either let go of this giant thing that's in the way of you connecting with your divine partner or that you are literally going to meet them in the next few weeks, okay? Or maybe if you guys are already in a partnership and this sounds like I'm talking about your partner, then it takes a few weeks for you guys 
to really come back to a better place because one of you guys or both of you guys need to let go of something, okay? This is a general reading and I'm tapping into a lot of energies. If you guys want a specific reading that's tailor-made to your energy, you can always check out my Etsy link in the description box below as well. Sacred contract, wow. So, okay, interesting. Huh. What a cute card, a caterpillar. Caterpillar. Yeah, there's an opportunity here. I mean, this, I feel like this is almost like an option. Like, you guys don't have to have this partner that I'm speaking of, but it's honestly a really good option for you. I feel like, hmm. No, you guys are meant to be with this person for sure. Because it was written, it's literally written in the stars and it's written in your divine plan to meet this person that can truly experience life with you because you guys need that. You guys um, have been craving this on a soul level and they are meant to come into your life in that way. So, but it's also a reminder that everyone has a purpose in your life and if there's something or someone that has already served its purpose, I feel like for whatever you guys need to let go of, then you need, do need to just let it go so that you can make big space for this new energy to come in. Yeah, because opportunities wants to land in your, on your lap. <laughs> Give back what you're done with literally it says give back here so whatever it is okay you're done with this flower just give it back to the universe they'll take care of it group number three hmm. yeah if you don't know what the heck is going on go deeper there's this there's this energy that's floating around that's that tells me that you guys sometimes like to avoid uh situations that need your attention so pay attention to what your heart is telling you what your intuition is telling you what your body is telling you and that if you connect with yourself deeper and you are getting rid of things that you don't need in your life anymore then love is definitely going to be coming around the corner for sure okay look at the, how beautiful that card is just love abounds it's right around the corner and you know but for you to fully accept it you do need to you know make space for it too all right so that's a super exciting union ship to look forward to and to have and to experience and that's your reading for you guys group number three i hope you found it insightful i hope you found it insightful hope you found it helpful and if you did consider giving it a giant thumbs up and i'll see you in another reading bye for now Hello group number four, welcome to your reading. Thank you so much for tuning in and checking out this channel. How are we all doing? Let's find out who were you meant to be with? Who are you meant to be with in this lifetime? Ooh, it's a very deep relationship. It's a really deep union ship. Like I wouldn't be surprised if you guys, one of you guys or both of you guys have Scorpio placements in your astrological makeup very good with community, very good with socializing. I feel you guys are the type of couple that is always mingling with with social settings and social environments and you know just hanging out with your neighbors and hanging out with the community, hanging out with your friends and just being that couple that likes to just go and be around and be social with the world together but at the same time when you guys are together alone there is this such a deep bond you guys have together like when i tune in it's just really deep so different from group number three i just did theirs obviously and their energy was a lot lighter whereas yours was is is super deep like there's almost like an iron steel cord from the base chakra that's connecting to both of you guys' hips. You guys are just inseparable. 
and you guys have very deep conversations together and not only that you guys are able to understand each other on an emotional level on a very deep way you guys just get each other you guys are able to explore the ocean of your emotions together and understand you guys get each other you guys understand you guys have that empathy for each other you guys have that balance you guys have that synchronicity and that energetic alignment to each other where you guys just understand and get each other it's really pure and really special what you guys have this card could also mean um if you guys don't super resonate with you know being around a lot of people like being that couple that hangs out with other couples or other friends or just being really a part of your community i do see a little bit of that going on at least you know but for others of you guys, you guys are going to be able to meet this person in a social setting. You guys are going to be able to meet this person during a hangout, through friends, just between friends and whatnot. I see you guys having almost like a picture perfect house together. Whatever that means for you guys, okay? Like whatever picture perfect means in your world i feel like you guys will have that whatever you guys have been wanting to have in your lifetime you guys are going to be able to achieve that together uh yeah so depth lots of depth both of you are psychic both of you are, have very deep connection to the universe with yourself and to each other as well so you guys have that bond where you're able to just finish finish each other's sentence and finish finish each other's why do i keep saying finish so you guys are able to finish each other's thoughts and you guys just understand what both of you guys are going through like you don't even need to say anything your partner is going to know how you feel and what you want and what you're in the mood for your partner will just know by looking at you and feeling into you and so will you you guys just like know you guys just know each other's intricacies and know each other's little funny things about how both of you operate so there's this really deep connection like that super scorpio energy whether you guys are scorpio or not you guys have that connection going on or not maybe cancer i mean when you get to know someone on such a deep level it's just there and you guys have that you guys are destined for this type of energy okay so even when you guys are not feeling like yourself hmm i feel like your person sometimes can be really just to themselves there's a sense of that as well. I'm not surprised because, I mean, both of you are super psychic and super deep and you guys feel emotions very deeply. So that can sometimes cause someone to withdraw. So your partner just sometimes have tendencies of withdrawing and honestly, so do you sometimes. So it's sort of this thing that just happens once in a while. But at the same time, I see you guys being able to achieve and create the life that you guys want together. Number four. I feel like, oh, that's nice. So, because you guys are so deep, you guys need to be reminded that that you can just embrace this moment and embrace whenever you guys are together. It's really important to just be together and just enjoy the intricacies in life and all the ups and downs and all the great memories that you guys will create together i do see okay you guys are so intertwined it's crazy so i feel like oh there's just deep emotions look at this imagery here just this lady is in like this is just passing through her entire being her whole soul so your person's gonna feel like he or she just washes through your existence and you can feel them really deeply within you inside of you it's like you guys are you guys are like together you guys are just completely just mushed together and there's no um separating the two energies like your both of your energies is just one okay so you guys are just super compatible and you guys are just absolutely 
you know, as one. This person's going to be able to, you know, be so into you and you're going to be so into them that you guys are going to forget time. You're going to forget life and you guys can are just able to be in the moment so much because you guys inspire that in each other. So, and it's not like you for you guys to feel this way. You guys are very picky, very choosy, very... Um, usually you guys have you know high standards and you guys have a very picky nature to you so in this case though you guys have been you guys will be taking a leap of faith with this relationship because it just feels so right you guys are both very intuitive very psychic and you guys can just see from afar that this is the one you're going to see them you're going to be like okay that that's something special going on there and you guys are just going to take that leap of faith and it's going to feel like everything's kind of clicking together like a puzzle piece that's going to be um it just fits you're just going to discover something about the person and it's just going to fit and you're going to discover this new thing in, in another day about your person and it's just going to fit and so yeah making making the life that you guys both want together is gonna happen but more so what's special about your dynamic with your person is just super deep and super caring for each other and you guys just simply get each other you guys are going to be able to trust each other i know some of you guys in group number four has trust issues and in the past you have been questioning if you can trust anyone and in this relationship you will really be able to know and feel that you guys trust each other yeah you guys are going to feel like the top of the world with this person you're going to be like where did he come from where did she come from this is so crazy i can't believe it's happening they are so perfect and you're so in love and you're both going to feel one way or another about that and there you guys are able to just channel into spirit and channel into this thing called life together in such an effective way so deep we have more water sign imagery water imagery just you guys have this soul connection it's not even about soul connection this is just complete internal emotional just dna intertwining of you know of of a connection that you guys have for each other Sometimes when you hang out with someone and you're having such a great time and you're so in the moment that you forget your phone exists, that you are so lost in the moment that you forget even that the world exists, that anything exists besides this moment with your person, you're going to find yourselves in moments like that with your person more often than not. This is literally such an ideal relationship. You guys have the retreat card, lost in space and movement towards adventure in a very deep way. It's all literally submerged into water. So you guys ha just get lost in each other's world and it's almost the whole world doesn't exist anymore only you two exist and it's just so beautiful so romantic and it's not even about romance this is about deep intimacy true intimacy and trust for each other and being there for each other and just being seen by each other so absolutely beautiful connection that's your reading for you guys group number four i hope you found it insightful hope you enjoyed this reading if you did consider giving it a giant thumbs up and remember to check out my etsy shop in the link below otherwise i'll see you in another video bye for now